As the boys are under 16, we've obscured their faces. Bob Higgins obscured himself by driving away at high speed. He was just in his element with young lads. I mean, he's obviously got a weakness for young lads, and I just think he was very clever in the way he uh, went about it all. He knew how, how, how far to take each, each given lad, and uh, I think he just worked on each different lad he wanted to. He took his favourites, and, and that was that. Charlton Athletic believe they're the only club to face up to the possibility of sexual abuse in the game. And when Les Reed hears what's happened elsewhere, he's certain that's necessary. Here we, we have an opportunity to do something that we really enjoy, to um, give kids a lot of enjoyment and an opportunity for a career. Um, and it's a sad thing that uh, it could be used as a vehicle for, for other purposes. And so, yeah, it saddens, it sickens me to hear of these sort of things. So why have the English FA never offered guidance to clubs on preventing child abuse or made any checks on those coaching? Despite an exchange of letters with Charles Hughes, their Director of Coaching and Education, he didn't answer either question and refused our request for an interview. So we approached him directly. Hello, I'm Deborah Davis from the Dispatchers programme. Are you really? We have been in communication. Um, we, Mr Hughes, we wanted to ask you about the FA's attitude to prevention of sexual abuse of children. The FA need to come out of the towers at Lancaster Gate and really investigate what's going on. The FA does have a history of um, improving things and getting things done, but very, very slowly. Um, and I think that more could be done and it could be done quicker um, if a lot of the bureaucracy was removed. I mean, is there a danger of actual damage to the game if they don't wake up to these problems? Um, I, think, I think there is a danger um, because if certain areas aren't taken care of, the funding will go away and football can't afford to lose that external funding and so therefore the, the game would be under threat. There's legislation going through Parliament to allow organisations to screen anyone working with children. This week, the FA announced if those plans become law, they'll organise and pay for clubs to check out coaches. But such checks would do nothing to stop those who abuse for years without ever being caught and convicted. Unless the FA take more far-reaching measures, young footballers remain at risk.